<laughs> you missed the door. What's up, dude? It's Globe Motor, and this is MTB Cribs, and welcome to my crib. Whoa. Cat lady for life, as always. <laughs> that's me, that's not my wife. All 
right. We get it nice and dry. Whoa, bye. He wants to come uh, die with us. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead. So Chris, how much shaving cream do I want to put in? Do I want to like put halfway, or does it matter? Uh, as long as at, at least an inch, okay. or at least covering the bottom so, of the tray. You say probably about right there. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to mention. Um, you need a flat edge to smooth the shaving Ooh. cream out. Yeah. I do have one of those. So you want to keep the shaving cream up yeah. because otherwise it doesn't come out as shaving cream. Nice. That be good? Yeah, you might want a little more, so just kind of like maybe trace around the edges. Okay. There you go. I didn't even listen to my own advice. There you go. Yeah, that should be good. Sweet. Cool. So, that's what it looks like without uh, spreading it out. So now we're going to use the straight edge right here. Literally just flatten it out. You don't have to be afraid to be rough with it. Um, just don't scrape all the way to the bottom of the tray. And you're just wanting to push the shaving cream around until you have what looks to be like a solid flat surface without holes, and uh, that would be good. <laughs> Tongues up. You got the tongue I, out. I, you focus. know, when I hit focus mode, I'm like, MJ. I'm not just tongue out. How's that look? Yeah. Here, let me do a little bit. Right? Yeah, do a little bit. So it's a little, see how, like, the edges are a little bit raised? We don't want that. We want it to be completely flat. So I'll usually just bring it all the way to the edge. Oh, okay. I think I'm just going to do some swirlies. I think I'm just going to go right here. And then maybe, I don't know, swirly right here, swirly right here. Now this all probably won't get on the disc because this is going to be way too far in the corner. But, you know, some of it will. And then maybe a straight line right through. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so, I want to point out... Hi, it's me, Chris. I'm on the camera. <laughs> I want to point out the initial swirls of the shaving cream are designed to just kind of show you where you want to put the dye. So, after you add the dye, we will do additional swirls. So what I, I think what I'm going to do is, is, I want more red than the, the black or gray, what we're talking about. So, I think what I'm going to do Obviously, I, I went ahead and filled up my bottle already, so give it a good shake. And I'm gonna open it over this, I don't want it to get everywhere. Okay, so I want more red than gray, so I'm just gonna. I think I put a little much in here. It's, uh, it, it's better to do too much than too little. Yeah. There we go. Now we're getting a little bit more. Oh, hi. Thanks. I, I love. I love the love. Come, 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 <laughs> come on. Come on. Get down. No cats were harmed in this video. <laughs> He says otherwise. <laughs> All right. All right. So, take a little dropper. Let's get this open. I'm just gonna kind of put. Oh, that ain't as well as I want to. We're just gonna kind of come in here. Fill in the white spaces. And honestly, where it's really saturated, you don't, you probably don't even have to fill in the white spaces because it'll, the shaving cream kind of dissipates and fades away over a period of time. Okay. So, there's no wrong way to swirl. Cool. I like that. 
This is our final product of stuff we have in the, the tub. I'm going to hold the disc like this. And I'm going to lay it down one corner, or one corner. Circles have corners. <laughs> um, I'm going to lay it down and kind of press out air bubbles um, to make sure we're not getting any. Because uh, if you have an air bubble, it might leave a white spot in places. So. I'm going to give it a little, like, probably 45 degree. It is in there. So now we get to wait. I don't know. What, what's, your, what's your ideal wait time? The ideal wait time depends on weather. Right now, it's, I mean, it's pretty nice. It's getting up into the 70s yeah. during the day. Um, we probably let that sit. It would probably be good after six to eight hours. Sixty-eight hours. Yeah, especially with that plastic. That plastic takes to die really quick. Yeah. So six to eight hours. Cool. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, Chris and I are gonna go play around with disc golf. Uh, and I'd like to show y'all my already finished ones that I did by myself by just watching this guy's videos. So let's take a look at those. All right. So now I have the three discs I've done by myself. I've actually done quite a few, but I have three that I'm actually very proud of, and I, I really enjoy it, and I'm glad I can get, uh, you know, taken care of. So, the first one that I ever did, I was told I was very, uh, I'll use a better term, very courageous for doing this. And it was on my first run, Hades, right here. Uh, it was kind of a good galaxy look. Um, again, I followed most of Chris's videos. Turned out a lot better than I thought it would, especially for a first time trying to do it. So, very proud of this. This one's in my bag. I'm throwing this all the time. So, Dime a Penny Putter. This, uh, you know, Lone Star Disc Penny Putter, which, shout out Lone Star Disc. Um, I, I really liked how this came out because I, you know, the same uh, gunmetal uh, color that I use for this die that we're doing right now, uh, it, it turned out to be uh, pretty good. Like, I think it it, it looked great. I, I came out a little more black than I thought it would, but it kind of gives it, like this looks like a galaxy. This looks like I'm straight up in space with stars all around it. So this is really cool. I, very, I really enjoyed the outcome of this one. Now this last one was one I did, just did recently, and I am very, very proud of it. I dyed this ESP Nuke, uh, Paige Pierce uh, Nuke, and I I really enjoyed how that came out. I mean, it, it really, the, the purple and pink and, and blues, uh, it really, really made it pop out. And I know I know Chris is a very big fan of, of purples and blues, and, 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 and you know, they all go together very well. All right, now we're exhausted because we just got done playing around with disc golf, so a little bit lower mood now than the beginning of the video. But <laughs> um, we're going to rinse this thing off and see what it looks like. Okay. It's pretty potent in red. Okay, it did, it did show up. Good. Because the color was this, mm -hmm. so like, and, and this will be something that you can answer for viewers and whatnot. Does it matter the color of the disc? Like if the disc, like let's say I wanted to dye this blue, but the disc was already red. Okay, so yes, it does matter uh, quite a bit actually, but if depending on how potently colored the disc already is. So if you have like a very light red, you could dye it blue because it'll, it'll be fine. But if it's like a very deep and bright red, if you try to dye it blue, it'll probably come out more purple and black-ish. So just always lighter colored discs okay. is the way to go. So really just any light colored disc, is you're pretty safe. Yeah, you'll be fine. Thank you all for coming along for the video, and uh, I'm out.
I'll be sure to get this up so y'all can check this out. And uh, go, as always, go check out Glow Butter Disc and get some tutorials on how to do these discs. So, I was excited about how this uh, turned out. I do like the red, so it's beautiful. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.